Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the second tutorial in this series on developing a survival game. In this video, we'll be setting up our true first-person camera. This series has been brought to you by Patreon sponsors like Random Number Generator. That said, let's open up our project and make a start. Welcome back to our lovely black screen. I did kind of warn you this might happen. So between the last recording, which was finished about five seconds ago, and this recording, all I've done is set up my source control and restarted the engine. So the one thing that I mentioned could happen is you get this black screen. So what you do is go to project settings, go to maps and modes, and just find a third person map. This will automatically save just close that out and next what we're going to do is we're going to go to our core or sorry to our maps we're going to open up the third person map and ooh ooh i did break something so in the last video i'm so glad i'm releasing these videos together i mentioned you could break one of your materials um i can tell you we didn't break the material because it's that part there that breaks and i forgot to put the fix up so really quickly what we're gonna do for that fix is we're gonna to go to our materials. We're gonna to go to character. And the fix, or sorry, the break actually tends to be in the main body. And it's these functions that don't get called for some reason. All you have to do this happens is copy these over. So how do you do that? You right click and you type in um, material function. And you get this unspecified function. And then in here, you find your material layer. I'm just gonna do the plastic shiny beige and it will auto fill. All right, yeah, save the material. That's one thing I don't like about materials is that it requires you to save every single time. It's gonna recompile that real quick. Whilst it's doing that, and it's already finished. Well, what we're just gonna drop that on there. I know it's not the same material technically, but you know what? It works. I'm not sure why that asset did not properly move over, but whatever. So, I I'm, honestly, we're not gonna use that material, so it's not a huge deal. It is a bit more annoying than anything else. Now the world looks a bit white and weird to me instead of the normal color, but whatevs. Um, yes, I literally did, did just say whatevs. So now that we're two minutes into what should have been a seven minute video, what we're going to do is simply move over to our core character, our BP first person character. Let's open this up and let's just move this in here. So in our, well now first person blueprint, what we're going to do is just do some cleanup. First, I'm not gonna use any touch inputs, so we don't need these nodes. We can just say bye-bye to them. We will have a jump system, but we will be uh, changing this down the road. We'll leave the mouse inputs in for now. For our gamepad, we're gonna be creating our own system, so I'm gonna get rid of that as well. And for our VR, we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of that too. Next, I'm gonna delete both of these float variables. With that done, I'm just gonna compile and save this real quick and hit play just to make sure I haven't broken anything else. So I can still move, I can still turn, I can still jump. I still have this weird ground I'm really bugged by now. Um, but hey, it is what it is because I made a mistake rushing through my third recording of that first video. That isn't an excuse, by the way, even though I make it sound like one. What I'm gonna do next is go into my first person character. And in here, I'm gonna go to my viewport. And in my viewport, what I'm going to do is I want to move this camera into our character. So we have a true first person perspective. So uh, let's start by getting rid of this camera boom. And hey, we, we now have this follow camera no longer attached to a boom. What happens if we hit play? Well, we still kind of follow the character. I don't have the same rotation controls cause well, the boom's gone, which kind of makes this a really weird experience. But notice what happens when I, ooh, the movement's just really weird. It did not move the way I wanted it to there. 
knew that was going to happen, but it's still shocking. So notice I clip through things. The boom helps us with those sort of clip things. Clip things. It helps us when we're moving through the world, preventing us to clip through objects, give us some finer control over the camera movement, and some other stuff. But hey, we don't need to worry about that because we're going to make this a true first person camera. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to drag it so it highlights mesh here and drop it in there. I'm going to hit F2 to rename it. And I'm going to name this first person camera. All right, next I am going to, in my socket here, I'm going to search for our head and it's going to anchor it to the head. Notice it's done a couple of things. It's gone sideways. It's rocking back and forth in time. We get this really weird trippy view which if you were to go from, I am half sorry. This is kind of my one thing I really enjoy about doing this uh, video is that effect. So we're gonna just fix that real quick. We're gonna rotate the camera on the X axis, negative 90 degrees. That did not seem to stick for some reason. Let's try that again. Negative 90 degrees, there we go. I realize why it didn't stick. I need to change my OBS settings. So now we're upright. We saw this issue of, you know, the camera's kind of jerky. It'd kind of be a fun horror experience, to be fair. I mean, if you just brought the camera a little bit closer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a mix of angles to get our camera where we want it. But we have this issue. It's moving. It's kind of causing problems. If you don't believe it's causing problems, it's that, right, well, I had a problem selecting it. Let's just drag the camera forward and we're gonna drag it here. Well, it's really hard at this point now to fine tune this camera position. So what I'm gonna do is there's this chevron next to perspective. On here, there's this real time. I'm just gonna select that. And it's gonna pause the animation. Next, I am going to go to my top mode. I'm gonna turn my perspective, oop, no, sorry, top mode. Turn my wireframe back to lit and just scroll down a bit. And I'm going to just adjust the camera ever so slightly. I'm gonna change my snaps to do so. And just have it at a snap of five and nearly where I want it on that axis but hey I'm, I actually can't get it closer even with a lower snap I'm gonna go to my left actually now my front view and that looks more shiny than I'm used to that's so weird all right I'm gonna move that just slightly on my X axis. Again, that's the closest actually I can get it. And as usual, my Z is just off. I, I know the values I want, so I'm just going to fine tune to those values. So now that we've moved it center here, this is actually fairly close to where we want everything. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to 0 0.01. So literally, 0.01. So literally just rounding up. Again, rounding this up to 10. And you might have noticed the mannequin moved when I put that first number in. That's because it reset from the animation to the first frame of the animation. And my Z is always just way too far off. It's going to be 1.5. And now we have a true first person camera, right? Right? My tone should be giving it away that we're not quite done yet. I'm going to hit play. And we got this really weird shaky sort of thing going on. And I can't look up or down. So what we're going to do to address that is we are going to go to here where it says use pawn control rotation. We're gonna select that. We're gonna compile. We're gonna to go to our first person character self. And on this, under pawn, we are going to turn on use control rotation yaw. And now let's test this out one more time. So I can look down, I can look up, I can look side to side, the camera moves, I can see my body as I move. Now, one thing you might notice is that as we look down, it looks sideways, right? Well, that's because that pose animation, I'm just gonna hit Control F1 or Shift F1. Notice that he is not squared. So if we go to front view, you can see that one hip is further back than the other. Of course, this is orthographic, so it makes it look a little bit harder to see. If we go here, you can definitely see one hip is farther forward than the other. So in this mode, that's what we're seeing. But when we start walking, notice the hip turns and we straighten up. So that is all we were gonna do in this video. For anyone wondering about this red check mark down here who's new to Unreal, don't worry about that. That is due to the fact I am using source control 
and it has no bearing on the tutorial. That little asterisk there means I haven't saved the file. So I'm going to hit Control S Save or Control, S, Control Shift S to save all. And that finishes out what we need to do for this series. If you've enjoyed setting up your first person camera, being able to see your character's body, please hit that like button down below. It doesn't take much work and it helps this channel out. And it lets me know that I'm bringing you content you enjoy, appreciate, and all that fun jazz, as well as makes this video easier to find for people who might not know about this series or this channel. And if you wanna be here as we move on to work for our sprint, health, hunger, and stamina systems, make sure to hit that subscribe and notify bell. And if you want a copy of this project, you know, given the fact I'm using source control, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Patreon supporters at upper tiers get instant access to any ongoing project I am doing for the YouTube channel. At other tiers, Patreon supporters will get access when these projects are completed. And this series has been brought to you by my Patreon supporters like Haynes, Quad Menson, and Rian. As usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.